surrender all to Thee I freely give. I will ever love and trust You in Your presence daily live. I surrender loving greetings to you in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ today is the day of joy today is the day of salvation today is the day of comfort which god is going to give for everyone who believes in him who trusts in him who obeys his commandments i really express my thanks for giving this wonderful opportunity to speak to you through this youth to i really very happy and rejoice in the lord always i just want to say few words about jesus bible says we should not forget the benefits what god has given for us Really since we came to this place 
we have seen so many people were blessed when they came to the lord and obey his commandments and walk according to his righteousness isaiah chapter 63 verse 7 says i will mention the loving kindness of the world of the word of the lord and praises of the lord according to all that the lord has bestowed on us and great goodness towards the house of israel which he has bestowed on them according to his mercies according to the multitude of his loving kindness many times when we face problems and troubles in life problems and troubles in life we get discouraged and say oh i am all alone nobody is there to counsel me but when we think of all the good things that the lord almighty has alone for us we rejoice over it he is a merciful god according to bible john chapter 17 verse 3 says and this is the external life that they may know you the only true god and jesus christ whom you have sent the knowledge of god gives us external life psalm is says in psalms chapter 1 verse 2 but his delight is in the law of the lord and he is law he meditates day and night when we meditate upon every single verse it gets registered in the mind it also gives us external life therefore when we read god's word the holy bible we should meditate deeply into the nature of god and the content of the verses what is the nature of of god what is the nature of our god the god who is rich in mercy ephesians chapter 2 verse 4 says the god who is rich in mercy but god who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loves us the lord is rich in mercy apostle paul said in second corinthians chapter 1 verse 3 he is the father of mercy god of all comfort Lamentation chapter 3 verse 22 says his compassion for i am the lord i change not psalmist says in psalm 78 verse 38 jeremiah chapter 3 verse 12 malachi chapter 3 verse 6 dearly beloved we are living in a fallen world but in spite of all the torment we came across we still can lift our faces to god it's because his compassion never fail he is rich in goodness romans chapter 2 verse 4 says he does good because of his loving kindness and tender mercies and with all that he also satisfies our mouth with good things according to psalm 103 verse 5 that is why psalmist praises god with met grateful heart psalms 103 verse 1 and 2 says bless the lord o my soul and all that is within are bless his holy name bless the lord o my soul and forget not all his benefits whatever may be your problem today be a good courage of the lord because the one who overweems us with the goodness is with us psalm is says in psalm 31 verse 19 oh how great is your goodness which you have laid up for those who fear you which you have prepared for those who trust in you so we have to think of all the good and that the lord has done in your life in our lives and praise him 
with a grateful heart. My children are very good in praising God. My all the children, they are good in praise worship. And when they start praise worshiping, we feel that Holy Spirit is already landing on the ground. In which case, problems that look so great as a mountain too will be broken down by him. To whom does he do all this good? According to Isaiah 63, 8. For he said, surely they are my people, children who will not lie. So he became their savior. Please read Bible Jeremiah chapter 24 verse 7 and Jeremiah 31 verse 33 and Jeremiah 7 chapter verse 23. You are my people, God said. You are my people. I am your God. He says, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be there. I will be there and they shall be my people. Second Chronicles chapter 6 verse 16 says, What is, what a joy it brings with this same time. What a joy it which brings it with this same joy shall we also say, Lord, you are my God. Lord, you are my God. Ruth, the country of Moab, not from Israel still she said, Lord, you are my God. And the day she watered those words, the Lord hold on tightly to her hands. Isaiah 43 verse 21 says, These people have a form myself. They shall declare my praise. To how many do we share the God thing, good things us to tell of this praise or to others? Why should we praise this God? Isaiah chapter 63 verse 9 says, In all their affliction he was afflict, afflicted and the angels of his presence saved them in this Love and in this pity he redeemed them and he bare them and carried them all the day of old. Dearly beloved, I, it is true that pressures come, but in the midst of it all, he is with us. If you read the biography of Joseph, you will find that he was imprisoned unjustly. But we read that when Joseph was in prison, the Lord was with him. Hallelujah. When Joseph was in prison, the Lord was with him. Not afford the affliction of the afflicted, nor has he hidden his face from them. But when he cried to him, he heard. He will not despise or abhor his children's affliction. He gives heed to those who seek his face and call out to him. Look at Daniel's experience. He had to face a terrible affliction. In the midst of his tribulation, he has a usual knelt down three times a day and lifted up his eyes to the presence of them. When he was thrown into the lion's den, the Lord sent his angels tied the mouth of the lion and saved Daniel. The same God will help you too today. This is my challenge. He will send his angels and rescue you from every danger. Look at the life of Samson. It is true that he went away from God. But during the final moment of his life, when he knew 
that there was nobody to help him. He cried out to God, Lord, remember me this time, this once. Remember me this once. He lamented and God helped him. Help him. You know, one magistrate was lost a job and he came to know that we are praying to the Lord with a broken heart. And many times he heard the message from us that Jesus came to heal the sick and save the sinners and bless those who followed him. He came and he was crying and telling about his problems too and he seek prayer. We have prayed, whole church prayed for him and God has blessed him in a mighty way and he received back his job again. And when he got the job, he felt himself that he should present something to the pastor. He purchased one scooter and blessed me with the scooter. Once David was greatly distressed with nobody to help him. He suffered as a lone man, but he strengthened himself into the Lord. I have said the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. In 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 19 says, And there was nothing lacking to them, neither small nor great, neither sons nor daughters, neither spoils nor anything that they had taken to them. David discount, recovered. All it was true that David was afflicted, but he received everything back in penalty. The God who leads, the God who lives according to Isaiah chapter 46, 3 to 4. Listen to me. Listen to me, O house of Jacob and all the remnant of the house of Israel who have been carried from the home even to your old age. I am he and even to gray hair I will carry and I will deliver you. How does he lead us? He commands his Holy Spirit to be with us and through him he leads us. He will hear us with his glorious arms. His right hand will be carry us through. Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 27 says, The eternal God is your refuse and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Eternal God will shield and protect us even foreigners heard the wonders the in which he or the Lord had his people by his hand. First Kings, First Kings chapter 8 verse 41 says, Truly there was something about them. They will understand that the God do not be telling your problems to others. Tell them only to those who will lead you into the godly way. Others should see the way the Lord leads you. He will lead you with his righteousness with right hand. The Lord says in Isaiah 41 verse 10. Fear not. I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. My dear brothers and sisters, it is really a joy 
to hear the word of God. And when this word reaches in our hearts and mind and soul, we felt with a joy. We feel that ourselves we are in the Lord and Lord is in us. Today, I'm very glad to say these few words. If you believe in him, if you trust in him, if you obey in him, you will receive the blessings, blessings from the Lord. I really express my thanks to all the church elders and all the members and all the youth in the Lord that God should bless them. I'm praying. Lord, who told Moses that your presence will go before him. Favor me with your presence before me. Lord, fill me with the fullness of joy and pleasures of your presence. Lord Almighty, make us exceedingly glad with your presence. Lord, set me before your face forever. Lord, cast me not away from your presence. Lord, give me grace to serve you and see your face. My dear merciful Father, who told me, seek your face. Help me to seek your face. Lord, where can I go from your presence? Help me not to run away from your presence. Lord, give me the grace to seek your presence every day. Lord, who promises that you will come and dwell among us, dwell in me. Lord, shape me from running away from your presence as Jonah did. Father, I trust in you. I believe in you. I follow your commandments. Bless me and bless my family. Bless my congregation. Bless my church members and bless our works, bless our ministry. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for listening to the word of God. Amen.